Hey guys, Brendan in Productions here, and uh, I'm really sorry I haven't made a video in a while. I uh, actually have been really busy with school, and then uh, work has also been pretty busy as well. But in either case, I'm here today, and uh, before I even start this tutorial, I have a few announcements. First of all, I'm sure everybody here has heard of Minecraft, the um, little game where you're in a 3D world where you can actually build stuff using blocks. Well, um, usually the game is twenty one ninety five or something like that, like twenty dollars ninety five cents, twenty fifty, twenty forty five. I don't know, some somewhere in the twenties of United States dollars. Um, I'm actually selling gift codes for ten dollars a piece, which is like fifty percent off. So if you want to get a gift code there, go ahead and PM me on YouTube, and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as possible, and hopefully we can work something out. But uh, I'm pretty much just going to be accepting payments via PayPal. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get started with this tutorial. So, um, we've gone over many basics of. Uh, well, that's cool. We've gone over many basics of the actual Java language itself. However, we have not uh, gone over most of the uh, advanced features and some of. Uh, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so today we're going to be going over the while statement and um, comparing strings that do not equal each other. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is called a while statement, which means um, we're just going to continue executing things while certain values are applicable. You'll see what I mean in a second. So what we're going to do is actually create a very simple um, method that will just rotate through a bunch of numbers and display them. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to start a new method. Uh, as you recall from previous tutorials, this can be done with the word public. And then um, since we're not going to instantialize the object, we are going to type static. And then it's not going to return anything, so we're going to type void. And then the method name, so this is going to be called count numbers. And we're going to have no parameters, and then we're just going to open it up. So the first thing we're going to do is actually create a integer and we're going to set it equal to zero and uh, yeah that's pretty much it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our program count to a hundred so we're going to make this while statement so while I is so when you're counting you go one two three four five and you keep counting as long as the number you are saying is less than one hundred right so while I is less than one hundred or less than or equal to one hundred we're going to do stuff. Now, while is f uh, structured like this. You type in while, uh, whatever the parameter is. So in this case, we're counting to 100, and i is the number that we're saying. So while the number that we're saying is less than 100, this is in parentheses, and then you open the curly brackets and describe what happens while i is less than 100. So we're actually just going to print out i, which is, can be done with system.out, now print ln or line i add a semicolon in there because that's a command and then we're going to increase i's value by one which can be done with the code i plus plus and then we end that with a semicolon so um, this while statement will simply take i uh, which starts at zero print out i the value i uh, increase it by one and then since i is not yet equal to a hundred uh, we are going to do the same thing. So now it's going to print out 1, increase it to 2, print out 2, increase it to 3, print out 3, increase it to 4, and so on and so forth. So we have created this working method. Now um, in order to implement it into our project, as you remember, we need to actually put the code into the main of our project. And we're just going to type in um, what is it? count number and that's it. So now we're going to run the project and check it out. So as you can see here in our console, wow this is a lot easier for video purposes, as you can see here in our console the program started at zero and uh, it counted to 100. And that is how you use a basic while statement. Uh, so you can do things over and over again. So now I'm going to teach you how to um, compare strings. So for example, we can say 
while um no we won't even this will be a whole nother method to compare strings uh be that are not equal to each other so we're going to create a new method called public static void um compare unequal strings i'm going to open it up and um, so what we want to do is first we want to create a string. So we're going to create string x, and we're going to make that equal to Brandon. And then we're going to create string y and make that equal to Ryan. And um, these two strings uh, with the values of Brandon and Ryan, they obviously do not equal each other. So we can easily start an if statement and say if they do not equal each other, then um, do something. However, how do we say if they do not equal each other? Well, that can easily be done with if and then usually we would type in if x dot equals and then we would say y then we would do stuff however there is um, several operators in uh, Java I'll just go through them right now there is the plus sign to add things the multiplication sign the minus sign the dividing sign which is just uh, this little um, this what is this called I think this is a forward slash except I can't put this in the comments so for now this will be the backward slash there's also a modulus which gets the remainder for example 5 divided by 2 the modulus or mod of that would be 1 and finally there is the exclamation point which means not so what we can say is if exclamation point x equals y so if x does not equal y so if x equals y not then we are going to system dot out dot print line x does not equal y and of course this should automatically run because x does not equal y Brandon does not equal Ryan so we're gonna go ahead and run this in our main just switch this over to compare unequal string and uh, we're gonna go ahead and run it And we get the message x does not equal y because x does not equal y. This little exclamation point, although small, has a big meaning. Uh, you could also do this with saying, for example, um, if a number, so if five or two equals five, then do stuff. But two does not equal five, obviously, or it would be two equals equals five. So if two equals five, then do stuff. However, obviously, um, 2 does not equal 5. And that is why it's giving us a message called, or that says dead code, because the program knows that 2 does not equal 5. So we can say if 2 is not equal to 5, then, so um, we just simply say not equal to using the exclamation point. And then we're going to do system.out.println 2 does not equal 5. And then we're going to run that. And then we get the message x does not equal y and 2 does not equal 5. So that's the basics on how to use while statements and how to use if statements with uh, saying if something does not equal each other. I don't know how long I've been recording. Uh, uh, oh, I've been recording for about 8 minutes. So this is good. I don't think I'll really have time to discuss anything else because I want to keep these tutorials kind of short so you can watch uh, a whole bunch of them or whatnot. So, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you did learn something from this tutorial. I'm sorry if it was brief. I'm kind of out of it today and I'm not feeling too well. But uh, please remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Please comment. I really do appreciate everything you have to say. And remember, I'm selling Minecraft codes for only $10. Just go ahead and PM me. Thanks, and uh, have a great day. Peace.